you're convinced the underlying mortgages in these bonds are solid loans? That is our opinion. Oh, yes. correct. The tape. Have you looked at the loan level data? What do you think uh, we do here? You're giving these loans day? to anybody with a, with a credit score Excuse and a pulse. Me, sir, what do you think we do here all day? I'm not sure. That's why we're here. Here's what I don't understand. We check. We recheck. If these check mortgage again. bonds are so stable, if they are so check solid, check your friend. Hmm? Have you ever <laughs> refused to rate? That's them. delusional. We Georgia, we stand behind have them. you ever refused to rate any of these bonds upper tranches AAA? Can we see the paperwork on those? Oh, statements? I'm under no obligation to share that information with you. Just to answer the here. question, Georgia, can you name one time in the past year where you checked the tape and you didn't give the banks the AAA percentage they wanted? If we don't give them the ratings, they'll go to Moody's, right down the block. If we don't work with them, they will go to our competitors. Not our fault. Simply the way the world works. Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. And now that little video clip, that's where I feel we are right now in relation to the whole GameStop situation. There's so much going on outside the box that people are realizing the severity of this whole situation. Now, it's been one year since the whole Robin Hood situation. They turn off the buy button. 73 days since Bitcoin is at $69,000. But why do we care? Why do they care? But this is bigger than this. This is a, this is a shell game. The banks are hiding everything but also the house of cards. If you read this, everything's become visible for those who want to understand it, but also for if you want to see it. GameStop, mostly all of, everybody on Reddit and everybody out there who's been doing great due diligence in all aspects of stocks, finance, and more. It's impressive, but at the same time, it's sickening. Just like when a rating agency, they realize the severity of everything. The two topics I want to get into today are is computer share, DRS, and why this is working, but also cryptocurrency and banks. This is kind of the underlying foundation for everything. First, with computer share. This is the only method for registering your stocks in your name, as opposed to being a beneficiary and just have a share of a stock held in an alternative brokerage. You won't actually own it, but if you DRS your share, you will physically own it, and this is a huge thing. Now, all of the posts on SuperSonk, you can see a little purple circle. It's every day going through, going through, getting more. This is important because it's recent, and recently Apex has confirmed as making a business decision to tr reverse the transfer transactions initiated by the customers. I'll say that again. They recently made a decision to reverse transfer transactions initiated by the customers from the brokerage to computer share. This is huge for both IRA and non-IRA accounts. This is bigger than you can imagine. You're, you're asking them to do something for you, and now they're saying, nope, we won't do it for you. Now, remember, this is the same Apex that was responsible for Robinhood. They're the clearinghouse of Robinhood, and the, you know, Robinhood, they turned off the buy button last year, along with a couple other, other brokerages. Now, if you haven't realized yet, in one year, all the things are more than squeezed, and that basically things are on a collision course as the media tries to push this down and try to hard, hide it with articles and hidden agencies. Even with this little screenshot last night um, with GameStop, and AMC in the green, and they're saying all meme stops are in the red. Well, they weren't. They're in the green. Now, it's realized we're not the bystanders anymore, by far. Derising your shares is starting to make ripples, and the ripples are starting to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Just like those who've been in crypto, they understand the impact of controlling your own money and being your own bank, having financial control of things you own. This is what brokerages don't want you to do. They lend their shares out. They lend it for short sellers again and again and again. Now, as for the brokers trying to locate the GME shares, and they're again, they're going to be stopping people to transfer out. This recent Apex declaration may be signed for future brokerages to follow suit. We'll have, have to wait and see. But again, looking at this little these screenshots here from a conversation with Apex Clearinghouse and one of their customers gives you enough of an understanding to what's going on right now. Now, will we see this more with banks on the brokers? Possibly some banks, it could be happening. But if you think about this relating to crypto and the whole market, because even the NASDAQ CEO has come out and said this. 
I think when we look at our larger role as a self-regulatory organization, we also really do focus on making sure that the activity in the market is legitimate activity and that, that if there is any sort of manipulation going on, that we root it out and we uh, eliminate it from the market. So that is a that is also part of our role. I think when it comes to some of the, 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 the latest activities that we've seen, um, I'm not going to comment on any particular listings, particularly those that are not listed on our exchange. But I think that in general, when we evaluate how we would manage through a situation where you see a significant run up in a stock that's not based on news, that's not based on fundamentals, what we do is we do have technology that evaluates um, social media chatter. And if we see a, a significant rise in the chatter on social media channels, and then we also match that up against unusual trading activity, we will potentially halt that stock to allow ourselves to investigate the situation, to be able to engage with the company, and to give investors a chance to recalibrate their positions. And then if we do think or, or uh, contemplate that there may be some manipulation, we then engage with FINRA and the SEC to evaluate and investigate that. Now, th this is just the tip of the iceberg. The ability for all of the retail traders, all the retail investors, there's such an, a surge the last year that really overtake them and caught them off by surprise because now we're playing their game. We understand the game. We're not playing by the rules. We're going to play fair, but they're not playing fair. We know this. Now, soon the ability for more and more people to adopt and use cryptocurrency to be their own bank, but also get the attention of the banks because we can stake our cryptocurrencies and get higher APR rates, 8 to 20%. On average, you know, it's not easy right now, but it will be getting easier. But as soon as banks get involved in this, it's not going to be in our best interest anymore, just like Apex and Robinhood and a few other of the brokerages and banks, because when they realize the knowledge that we have and the knowledge of the customers right now, it's changing the system. It's changing their system. They're going to throw up more walls, but we're not, we're not giving in. We're going to walk around the walls. We're going to go around the walls. We're going to go under the walls. This is why it's important to DR shares, be more friendship be more aware of a financial education with everything because this is this is a good quote right here it's not a fight against melvin citadel point 72 it's a battle against the entire financial world if you think about this it's even speculation from many people that the fed is even going to be complicit right now in this helping to suppress gamestop the whole, their whole game is at risk not not our game their whole system is at risk now so all of you out there game on have a great weekend.